back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I'm going to bake a cake for those of you that are borderline diabetic or maybe you're not really diabetic. If you don't mind 18 grams of sugar, this is a real delicious cake. This has uh, mayonnaise in the middle and you could also use uh, whipped cream. Something like that would be good as well. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to put my ingredients in the sifter. The sifter gets rid of chunks. Now, I don't bake, so I don't have the actual sifter. This is something that I normally wouldn't make, but being that it's the holiday season in North America, I'm going to go ahead and make it. Not that you can't make this on the 4th of July or December 2nd or any other month in the year. Because if anybody has ever had a cake like this, you know how delicious this is. So, and I have company coming over, so of course they'll be eating the majority of it. I might have a piece of this just for emergency. Now, I need to do the wet ingredients. I need one cup of mayonnaise. Okay, brand new fresh mayonnaise, and I like to put things back in the refrigerator while I'm working. And water. I have one cup of water. So I'm putting the water in first, then I'm going to put the mayonnaise in, that way the mayonnaise had something to go into. There we go, just like that. Now we need eggs, and then I can put the shells in there. Eggs, always crack on a flat surface, put your thumb in the hole. Don't crack on a side always on a flat surface. And if for some reason you get a shell, like just popped into my hand, but I got lucky and caught it, the best thing to do is to use a shell to get the shell out, because shell sticks to shell. But if anybody's tried, you'll find it doesn't stick to your hand very well. Then we need to whip and mix this. Now, you can probably use a whisk, you could probably use electric. Just so happen to have an electric one here. Nice and slow in the center. So I switched this from 110 volts to 220. My favorite actor on Tool Time, that's what he would do. That looks almost a little more. I see a little stripe there of an egg going by. He's doing the backstroke. The next step is going to be to put our dry and liquid ingredients together. So you just take your finger and you put a nice little well right here in the center like this. And then we're going to take and dump this in here very carefully. Just like that. Put that aside. Now I have to whisk. So to mix this, you want to go one way for a bit, and then you want to go the other way for a bit. Then, after you get this all mixed, and you're sure there's no dried ingredients, which I do have some dried ingredients, can't rush this. This has got to be right. This is cake. 
This is very, very important. And as you can see, this bowl has a pour spout on it. It's important to know where your pour spout is so that you use that. Next step is to weigh it. You need to know how much is in the bowl. Okay, so that says that it is 21.20. So that tells you that you need, uh, wait a second, get the bowl square. Okay. 2.1. So basically one uh, per uh, pan and I already measured these earlier and when you put these on you'll see that you have 9.9 .9. so we're just going to go basically 10.9 or 11 probably. Let's just take a look because if 10 is good 11 is better. And to fill the next one up, I'll pour that one, and then we will check the measurements to make sure that they're the same. One point six six on that one. this out because otherwise I'm just going to grab this spoon and just eat this. Just call this my jello pudding for the day. Barb is coming later with the frosting. I'm not sure if she forgot the frosting or didn't trust me alone with the, uh, the frosting until she was here to supervise. Okay. They look like they're equal. Now, all I got to do is throw them in the oven and then uh, clean up. I took these out of the oven after 25 minutes. Checked them with the toothpick and they were good. I've let them cool and now I need to put some frosting on them. So I have two jars of frosting. One jar is for the cake and the other jar is for me to eat. Just kidding. So... All I do is take the frosting and just drop it right in the center of the cake. And I don't make a lot of cake, so I'm not an expert, but I have made a cake before. Then you just work it from the center out, just like this. Then you want to get this level. If it's not level, it's hard to put the next cake on. So you want to work on getting this level. <laughs> I was just laughing because I was thinking about bringing out my level, putting my level across it. I'm thinking of things from the Home Improvement TV show. Nothing will blow up on my set, hopefully. Then you just take the cake and see how I have the flat side and see how that's not the flat side. I'm going to put the flat side down. The flat side sits better on top of the flat side, just like that. Then we take this other one and put it on here. Now this is for Thanksgiving dinner because I have people coming over tomorrow for Thanksgiving. As a diabetic, I'm not really going to eat much of this cake. I'm, I will eat a little bit just because I think it's the rule if I cook it, I have to try to taste it. But I don't eat a lot of sugar. I don't drink soda pop. I was thinking, when I was thinking about making this cake, I checked my cupboard and I don't even have sugar. I don't have any powdered sugar. So, 
this is only being made because it's Thanksgiving, but you could make this for a Christmas cake, you could make it for a Halloween cake, or Christmas, or Easter, or you can make it just because it's Monday, and you should have a cake on Monday. What's nice about that is, is that Monday comes around every single week. And if you like cakes, you will like having a cake on every single Monday. I know I would. And then you can just fill in the edges, just like how a mason fills in a brick. It's called tuck pointing. And what's funny is I actually have a tuck pointing tool. I use it for scooping butter. To be funny, I could have used it for this. But thank you to my friend Gary, who makes this cake all the time and gave me advice. And he loaned me this cake pan and uh, the uh, use of whatever I needed that I didn't have. I pretty much had what I needed. But that hand mixer, I don't think I've used that hand mixer in 10 years. So, my show is just generally not about cakes and pastries. Then, just for the fun of it, I'm just going to draw a line like this. And then, I'm going to draw another line right here like this. Well, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.